on the newer X3 series models, the ones with the colored inlay from 2014 to present, it's a little more complicated, there's a little more components. First step, turn it over and replace right, or take out the 16 screws that hold the handle in place. 12 up here and 4 down here. All right, then you can open it up into two pieces and expose the electronic components inside and we're going to take each one apart slowly so you can see how it's replaced. First, the rheostat. The rheostat knob on the outside you must pull off the knob. And then you need to loosen the little wafer or jam nut that's in there. You may need a pliers to start it and then it can be done by hand. You'll notice that in addition to the jam nut, there's a little washer in there as well to secure it in place. Once the rheostat is removed from, from the handle, you then disconnect the connector that's in the housing is on the circuit board itself. Pull straight out. Sometimes they attach a little gum rubber that uh, secures it in place better. There's no need to replace that. It fits in snug enough, it's not necessary. Once you've taken out the old defective rheostat, to replace it with a new one, you reverse the process. Step one is attach the wires with this connector into the housing on the circuit board. Then take the rheostat stem and push it through the frame, turn it over, and then there are three items. There's a rubber washer, a metal washer, and then the jam nut or wafer nut that gets screwed into place to secure the stem onto the handle frame. You may need a pliers to tighten it the last few turns. And then reapply the knob. 